All right, so you want to make a Google Forms quiz objective in your Classcraft quests. Something like this right here. Something that would allow students to go through a quiz that you've created already in Google Forms and automatically let them move forward or hold them uh, back inside the quest based on their score. So let's get into how to do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and create a Google Forms quiz. So here is a Google Forms quiz that I've created. And you need to make sure that you do a couple of things in the settings. So first of all, once you've got your questions created, make this a quiz. So make it look like this. And then you need to collect email responses in order for Classcraft to know what score your students are receiving and limit to one response. Once you have those three settings checked, then Classcraft will be able to automatically grade your quiz. The other thing you need to make sure to do is you can only have three types of questions in the quiz if you want to automatically grade it. You can have multiple choice, you can have short answer, and then you can have these uh, checkbox types of questions. Other than that, you uh, can't have other types of questions. The other thing to note as well, we're gonna need to know the total points available in the quiz. So for my quiz, there are 20 points total available, and that's gonna be important for later. And then the last thing to do with your quiz is to make sure that you um, collect responses in a Google Sheet, something like what I have created here. Um, and if you are, uh, if your quiz is in a language other than English, then um, you need to make sure that you switch the email address column and the score column to be in English and to say these exact words, email address and score. If you're working in English, this will automatically be there for you. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, now you've got your quiz created. You've got your um, sheet ready to collect responses. You won't have any responses in there yet. Um, and now let's go into Classcraft and let's create our Google Forms quiz objective. Okay, the first thing to do is to get uh, free and easy quizzes, so, I mean, quests, not quizzes. So go to the marketplace, which you can get there by clicking this blue thing right here. If you're on your Classcraft home, you can also head to your library, which is where your quiz and boss battles are contained. Go to quests, click on discover lessons at the top right, and that'll get you to the marketplace as well. Uh, now I have like three marketplaces open, so I'm gonna close all those. Once you're here, I recommend going to our story mode site, which will open in right here, like you can see that right there. And then just scroll all the way down, not all the way, but almost all the way down till you see Discover All Eight Episodes. And if this is your very first uh, time using this, then you'll wanna start with episode one. And if you've already got episode one quests in your class, go to episode two, three, four, and so on. So um, click on that, it'll take you to a episode one page, it gives you a little story, uh, uh, not recap, but I guess a summary. And then click on this import episode one, quest one, the lost sprite. That'll put the quest into whatever class you'd like to put it in. So I'm gonna put this quest into my demo class and go ahead and import it. If you're connected to Google Classroom, you'll see this screen, um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click import every objective as regular tasks. And that kind of um, ignores that option of connecting things to my Google Classroom. By the way, you do not need to be using Google Classroom in order to use these Google Forms quizzes in your quests. But you do need to have, and I'm going to click on my profile at the top right to show you this, you do need to have your profile linked to your Google account. So even if you don't use Google Classroom, you need to link to your Google account. And so if it is linked, you'll see unlink there and you're good to go. All right. So I'm going to click, well, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to click my Classcraft and go back here. I'm going to go back to my library, to my quests. And here is the quest that I put in, E1Q1, the Lost Sprite. I put it in my demo class. So let's go ahead and let's take a look 
at that quest and let's add a Google Forms quiz objective to it. So first of all, if you're not very familiar with quests, um, students will always begin at the home icon. This is an introduction. This will be um, what they see right here. And then they'll move into seeing another piece of story that's already pre-written. And then you can put your task in here. So I might have, this might be Monday's work, and it'll be take notes. And then they'll see the next piece of story in the next part of the quest. You can put Tuesday's work right here. And so it'll be practice, practice what you took notes on or, or discuss what you did because you can, add a, uh, you can add a class discussion here if you want to. And so discuss what you learned in the notes instead of um, you know, turning something in. And then maybe here they have practice problems that you want to attach and you can attach things from your Google Drive and, and your Microsoft OneDrive or your computer. Um, and they can download that and then they, you can have them uh, enable assignments that'll give them a text box exactly like what you see here and then they'll be able to turn things in um, and then maybe we'll have review here a real review assignment and now what we want to do is want to complete this learning cycle with a quiz to see to assess their learning um, before they get to the end this is the end of the quest and it always has a little trophy at the end so before they get here, we want to have them do a quiz. So I'm going to go up here to my path and I'm going to go back to the whole quest here. And I'm going to add, so I'm going to add right into the path a quest objective, a quiz objective. So here we are, they start here, they move along and you can see the arrows on the path. So there was Monday, that was notes, Tuesday, this is um, discussion. Wednesday, this was practice. Thursday, this was review. And now we want a Friday. So I'm going to add an objective with this purple plus. Click right anywhere I want to. And then I've got my Google Forms quiz objective I'm going to make. I'm going to call it just quiz time. And click on Google Forms quiz. If you leave story empty, it won't show a bit of story. So I'm just going to leave that empty for time's sake. And then we're going to learn how to set up our Google Forms quiz. If you um, want to re revisit what I just showed you, you can click on this. It will open up this um, site for you and you can walk through all of the things that I just talked about. But I've just showed it to you in the video, so you probably don't need to do that. And so we're going to go ahead and select our form that we just created. And here's my forces quest quiz. Um, there's the one I want. So I'm going to select that. Now we need to get that spreadsheet that we set up. So here's my spreadsheet for that. And now we need to tell Classcraft, hey, what's a passing grade? How many points out of the total quiz score do the students need to earn in order to be you know, open up that next part of the quest automatically. This is where it was important to remember the total points in your quest, because we're not talking about a percentage. We're talking about a total points earned out of possible points. So in my quiz, there's 20 possible points. So I maybe I want a 60% to move on. And so 60% of 20 would be 12. And so I'm going to put in 12 points there and click next. And now we're going to give my students a reward for completing and getting that passing grade. If you're not sure how many points, 100 is great. And then about 25 gold pieces. That's just a nice uh, little coupling of numbers there. And then we're going to click save. And there's our quiz. It's already made. It's a self-paced quest, so quiz objective. So you see that little lightning bolt at the top. Now we need to connect it because there's no way for students to get there. So we're going to go into connect objectives at the top, go into blue objective edit mode. And there's a little trash can right here. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to click and drag to the quiz. And then I'll click and drag from the quiz to the end. And then I'll go out of quest editing mode. Now I can move any of these around if I want to, um, but they are connected to what's going on in the story. So these three pillars are the three pillars that are shown in the story there, which is kind of cool. Either way, here is your um, quiz objective already and good to go. And it will automatically move students forward to the end, the riddle solved, and give them these points, which you can click and change if you want to. 
Um, and if they don't receive the passing score, then they won't unlock the end. And that's when you can come and do some remediation with them. Um, also, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, an option to send students along a side path that will give them uh, an option to review and then retake another version of your quiz if they don't pass it the first time. So if you'd like to see that, then check out the next video. All right, thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful.